This PowerPoint lecture will be a quick tip about distribute rows and distribute columns that can visually organize your table. What happens if you click on a table? You get the table design and layout options. Table design is how the table looks, but table layout allows you to insert new columns and a few other features. The features we want to talk about is distribute rows and distribute columns. PowerPoint tries to calculate based on the text you already have in a table to make everything of equal size. Look at rows. Each of them has a different size, but if you click on the table itself, you select distribute rows, it tries to equalize the gaps between them and make everything to the same height. The same way as distribute columns will try to put everything on equal width. Now, while this isn't a perfect solution, it is a good start to restore visual hierarchy and order to your table. This would be my first step. The second step would be probably centering the text and then you can always make the table smaller again. But you already have kind of equal spaces between all the rows and columns. It takes your text into consideration, so automatically the columns and rows with most text will be the benchmark for all other ones. Even though we have no text here, you can see we have a big column. We can of course adjust that later by hand or make the entire table smaller, but this is up to us once we already distributed everything properly. If you want to learn more tips and tricks about PowerPoint, you can consider joining my courses where I do extensive PowerPoint teaching like that. Thank you very much for listening to this video. I hope you have a pleasant day and see you again next time.